All right, it's uh, time to go to the bakery and get stuff done. Uh, yesterday's stream of consciousness is already up and going and was not expecting to make that video yesterday, but I wound up making it. morning we're on the way to the bakery at least um, not necessarily sure what's going on I was explaining to Aaron on the way down the stairs uh, my new shoes um, they're all <laughs> that they're intended for uh, like trail walking mm. well here look at the bottom of them oh yeah yeah they're intended for trail walking not race walking so that's why I use my old shoes as gym shoes <laughs> Because they breathe so that, you know, in case I need to, so my feet aren't like super sweating and I get a lot of toe fungus and crap. So, and plus these like water can come down from on high and hit right on my toe and not. If you guys watched yesterday's video, you know what I'm talking about. Although the, the shower yesterday taught me exactly that's what it does. Because <laughs> there was so much water coming down. Yeah. I'm not sure if that hit you guys because the bulk of the storm actually went north of Amsterdam. So we got our FUD. We're uh, heading over to Decathlon to show Aaron, get, have him look for shoes. Um, and the sprinter going to Central pulled in a uh, mount report up there. And I was like, oh, you're actually being really quiet today, sprinter. And then I just kept watching, and it just doesn't end. This is like the longest, this is a full 10 car sprinter. <laughs> I was like, where are you, where are you coming from? It's probably coming from Rotterdam. Mm, 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 that's... <laughs> Punch Nazis, against Nazis, basically. Taken is, what do you? Taken is their word of uh, against, opposing, not necessarily punching, but the idea of a, of a fist punching a swastika is very, you know. It's really obvious. Yeah. It's very obvious that, you know, say no to Nazis, you could be like, whatever, I don't know the word for drugs. Yeah. Taking drugs? <laughs> All right. We're down here at Arna, heading to Deca Decathlon. Probably going to swing by Media Mart also. Just. It's like going to Best Buy. You don't have to want to buy anything. We are looking for a space heater. Yeah. At least something to blow hot air. So at least I can somehow dry some of our more thicker winter clothing a little faster. Yeah. <laughs> like we don't have to heat, you know, it'd be nice maybe in the colder times to maybe heat up the bedroom a little yeah. bit. Because the radiators work fine. If we didn't have like 13, foot ceilings. I mean, no offense, those ceilings are real high, Aaron. They're nice. They're nice, but the heat goes way up there. Yeah. Huh. So, yeah. He is a Aquaman. Pate. 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 I don't know. But I'm just, as much as I, I like the look of uh, Dalvendrecht being a, like, bus on one level, East West on another on the second level, north south on the top level. Biomer Arena is a huge train station. Yeah. <laughs> I can imagine if a uh, Taylor Swift concert let out. Oh. Like I would love to just sit here with a mocha in my hand and watch not only the chaos, because there would be chaos, but it would everybody does a little shout-outs. They just this didn't happen in Portland. This randomly people just like whoop whoop hi in the wave. And I've actually seen in the camera people walking behind me waving. Little kids. <laughs> <laughs> but as I was saying, I would love to watch. Yes, like I said, it would be chaos, but it would be the flow of everybody. I'd like to see all the gates open. I want to see this madhouse that happens at that station when something big lets out from the arena. Yeah trying shoes on. We're trying to get a different kind than mine so we don't ever confuse our shoes. It's the issue of having the same size shoes and I find super cheap stuff. But he's also kind of looking for 
I mean, you don't have like super nice shoes, do you? Or did you bring yeah, some? Do. Oh, you do? You don't have some way super long on the toe and they clap those kind of dress shoes? I avoided the noisiness, but yeah. Yeah. You might want to stand in them. Just yeah, I'm trying to figure out if it... I just don't know. <laughs> we'll figure stuff out. All right, we're medium marked now. We didn't have to drop our bag off in the secure area, so. Yeah. Uh, got all the TVs and stuff down there. I realized if we're looking for, like, appliances, we need to go upstairs. This is like where the coffee makers and stuff are at. Yeah. Specifically, there's Nespresso right in front of us, and I want coffee now, because I'm addicted. So, we found our, you're gonna have a focus? Could you not be so ADD? There we are, there's your focus. Did I just trigger somebody? So, this is the most basic one they have, but it doesn't have that tip over function that Aaron wants. This one does, as you can hear that. But we've also found humidifiers. Why does the Netherlands have humidifiers? More importantly, why are the humidifiers so huge in the Netherlands? Like. A big deal, he means. Yeah, but all of this, well, half of this, are humidifiers. And maybe it's the fact that it also helps, but that's the thing, is it's so humid here to begin with, why would you want to humidify, why would you want to move from 60% to 100% humidity? I mean, to be fair, I already have enough trouble breathing sometimes as is, but a lot of these are air cleaners, Aaron. Okay. They're not humidifiers, just that little thing. And I'm not even sure if it was a humidifier. This one is. Oh, that's it. Yeah, it's a... I don't know. Yeah. So, the one we wanted, the little gray one right there, isn't down here. So we had them search online. We couldn't find it. Oh, he'll go search in the back. And I think here he... Yep, here he comes. It was just us. The one we wanted wasn't was out of stock. But again, a lot of these are clean air things. They, they clean the air. There are a few... Um, when I looked down while we were waiting, like, they're air purifiers, but yeah. there are humidifiers here, and I just, I don't get it. And, and maybe this is media marked because, no. because it's, it's everywhere here. I don't get it. It's a big thing with Philips on their catalogs and stuff. They make a lot of them. I don't know why, why there's a lot of humidifiers. To me, the humidity is insane here, as is. Yeah in comparison to home. And we didn't have a humidifier before, we're just like, like that's why I have so much trouble breathing sometimes because the air's so heavy at practice. I look like I'm out of shape. To be fair, I'm a little out of shape, but I'm not that out of shape. At the gym, I had a lot more, you know, like I was able to do a lot of stuff. I was going pretty hard on the elliptical after my leg day to get the blood flowing through them, but I wasn't breathing hard because they have somewhat filtered air in there, so it's not as heavy. Yeah. You'd want to pull the humidity out of the air here, which that might be what they are. We just... Yeah. I don't know. Who knows? Ah. Oh, my chest is super sore right now. <laughs> <laughs> just hit my own pecs and I was like, oh, wait. <laughs> oh, it's just that scooter over there. I was like, what sort of plane am I about ready to land? But, uh, yeah, we got our thing. We did not find any headphones for Aaron. Um, I've kind of just given up. Yeah. I have headphones, they work. Yeah. Um, it's late enough in the day, we haven't actually had anything decent to eat. Um, do you have any ideas? Uh, there's a, uh, shawarma. Uh, Galvinbrecht. Oh, I wanted, yeah, we could try that. It's not a donor company, but they serve donor. Yeah. It's over here. So yeah, media mark and stuff are right there. We're literally just right inside a store, and uh, it's called Curios. Um, so yeah, that's that. It's uh, something to eat. Aaron actually saw a different place, um, but then again, donors is super popular everywhere. I wouldn't be surprised if they're just like McDonald's and Burger King. They're across the street from each other. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we've eaten. Like I said, I I don't think that. Hmm. Maybe there's another. Villa Don, Lacasta Brodia. Yeah, I, don't, I think what you saw might have been that one. 
Because I'm like, as much as, you know, donor places are basically like as as often as, you know, hot hamburger places are back in the States, they seem really weird considering they all pretty much serve the exact same thing. Yeah. I mean, Burger King at least has the Whopper and McDonald's has the Big Mac, but every one of these places has Durham Donor. So, yeah. now I could see that place being over there and say a donor company being in here because yeah. donor company is something that's typically run through an S. Yeah. So, they would have a thing inside here because if people aren't going over there, they may want to swing by here, pick up some donor company and whatnot. Yeah. Oh, I do something. With, I might swing by Albert Hein, pick up a coffee. I don't want to go all the way to Starbucks for coffee, but we have to pretty much go over to that side anyways. Metro Alderechtigen? Oh. <laughs> Metro All Directions. <laughs> Where's the Metro? Yeah, three, like, and these, the, these are, these are, this is the escalator that I ran up. Just, <laughs> I was like, I don't have time for this. So I ran up because it was two down, one up, and there was a bunch of British tourists going up the up, really, and they were like, oh, I don't know, and then they were clogging it, and I wanted to go fast, so I technically ran up the middle one, but nobody came down it, thankfully, so that I didn't have to run up a down escalator. I was very lucky that time. We'll see you guys when we get home, whatnot. Yeah, probably gonna play computer games, WoW, whatever. Yeah, I'm not really sure if I have anything left to do on WoW this week. <laughs> So, we didn't get a haircut today. We might tomorrow. Not sure. I can tell the more I start using gel in my hair, the more... We're heading up to De Beer Town. We were just checking weather apps and whatnot. Aaron got three of his five time walking done and I finished up Focus. Focus. Like the second area you go to in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I've, I've kind of done for the week. I don't really want to go through time walking dungeons on other characters. Just sort of go through it the first time, get the 500 thing, go to Dalaran, and turn it in. Because 500 each time walking week for every character eventually winds up getting <laughs> able to get toys because toys are account wide and you know mounts on all that stuff. So yeah, it was oh right we need to take all the bottles down and smash smash. Have fun doing that. Uh, it's a nice howl reckoning meteor buren. Basically, don't do glass between nine and seven. You can just. It feels like super. Yeah. It's, it's kind of. It's cathartic. Yeah. Just like when uh, Silas did that his first time. I'll put a link up there for the card. You guys can. You guys can see that. It was that. It was very cathartic for him to do it too. Yeah. You want to do one? Yeah. <laughs> Served its purpose for five cents. So we're almost up to uh, the beer town and I've never actually seen the uh, Dapper Mark signed. It might only be on for, you know, the, the, the cursed, the cursed man season. <laughs> cursed man. Uh, now that we're here, we need to find seating. And like everywhere else seemed like pretty light on the outside, but they seem super busy. Yeah. So we'll check it out. Of course, they do have that nice whole chicken thing. Oh my God! The point when you find 7.4 percent cider that doesn't taste like cider. Oh boy, I am. I need Aaron to help me so I don't walk into traffic on the way home. But to be fair, we did find a nice, we were like right there underneath the heater. So that was cool. It is very windy. We've had some wind gusts come through, as you guys can hear. Um, I'm going to pee real quick, so yeah. Um, don't lean back too far. Don't lean back too far. <laughs> You're gonna fall over. Base. As you guys can maybe see, their lights are swinging back and forth a little bit. Like I said, we have gusts of 90 kilometers per hour, so. 
that's like low 40s miles per hour. Bikes have all been knocked over sometimes and people have gone out and picked them up and it's fun and it's nice but we are, oh, don't lean over too far. Gotta be careful. <laughs> I'm gonna have a fun time getting up the stairs because my legs are starting to hit in because from yesterday. So I'm like, owie, owie, I need to stretch and probably roll my hamstring. I'm gonna go beat the crap out of some guys until I can't think anymore on, um, what's its bucket? Odyssey. And so, so yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna force a haircut somewhere. And whatnot. So yeah, let's, um, yeah, because I need, I, if anything, I need a haircut. If anything, we're just going to go by brainwash and get it done. Because I'm drunk and I can't stop futzing with my hair. It's a tram. I'm so drunk.